Um, this is a general question about the dances and the pranks and all of these kind of ritualistic elements of trips. What do you think is the, the purpose or the significance of them in relation with the greater purpose of, of trips? I would say it's two things. I would say that the immediate purpose that most of them serve is to loosen people up. A lot of first years, you know, myself included at the time, were nervous about coming to college, a new place, new people, meeting new friends, trying new things. You know, the academic rigor of Dartmouth and on and on. Uh, and I think it just, you know, leading with a dance and silliness and fun opens people up, gets people meeting each other, gets people out of their heads, and sets a tone of, you know, hey, Dartmouth is not all, you know, it's not all work. You know, there is fun to this place as well, and there is self-discovery, um, and you can let loose in healthy ways now and then, and that's, a, you know, that's a good thing. And it's not a... You know, you don't have to abandon your childhood and your, you know, your sense of wonder and adventure and fun just because you're coming to college. So I think that's the initial purpose they serve on trips themselves. I think, you know, going forward and for trip leaders who come back to the program and for people who stay involved in the outing club, uh, it's a very, it's a big uniting thing for, um, you know, your time as you continue through Dartmouth and through college. It's like, oh, hey, we all, you know, went through that funny beginning time together, we, all, we had that shared experience, we did that shared thing, uh, and how cool is it that we, that we all have that and can relate on that level.